Hello everyone, TC Tech Hill here. I know it's been a while since you've seen the UAB Blazers take the field. And this is the first time I think in 2013 I might have done the BCS poll predictions uh, on New Year's Day. Actually I don't think so because the Rose Bowl was on that day so I needed to get it out. Anyway, as you see we are against the ECU Pirates in their home stadium. East Carolina, I don't know if that's in North or South Carolina, to be honest. But you will see us play, play hard, and besides a field goal in the first quarter, we will never lead the game until the very end, as you will see. Anyway, a quick update, I guess, of the BCS and football in general, I guess. So college football, I got most of the predictions right for the BCS. And I missed on the Kansas State Duck game, and that game was a good game as a Pac-12 fan. Uh, the Ducks, I mean, it wasn't a blowout until late, but, I mean, it put a nice impression uh, for the national perception of the Pac-12. However, we did only go 4-4 four and four in the bowl season, so that was a little bit disappointing as we were expected to get, be about 6-2 and two or 7-1. and one. But the two BCS Bowl wins is nice, and Stanford and Oregon look to be well prepped for a national championship uh, game run next year, hopefully dethroning the SEC finally. And I watched about the first quarter of the Alabama-Notre Dame game, and it was either 14-0 or 21-0, and it was just a blowout, so I decided to turn it. I didn't even want to watch. And so, yeah, I think the final score was, what, 42 to 14, something like that. So, I mean, really disappointing showing for anyone outside the SEC country. And then my Seahawks lose in heartbreak fashion to the Falcons in uh, divisional round playoffs. They take... Uh, Huge hit in the first half. It was 20 to zero in favor of the Falcons, and 27 to seven at the start of the fourth quarter. But the Hawks had some heart and came back and actually was in the lead, 28-27, with just over 30 seconds to go. And they allowed Matt Ryan and Tony Gonzalez, Julio Jones, and Roddy White to take it down the field, get in field goal range blow a timeout call. I don't know what really happened. And let Matt Bryant kick that 49-yard field goal to win the game with a few seconds left. And, yeah, it was pretty heartbreaking when you see them coming back from that far down. Anyway, I've said enough about that. I need to get on to the real topic of today's video, and it's the news of Manti Teo and his imaginary fake, I don't know, girlfriend thing that everyone's been talking about. And I've heard there's two ways it could go. It could go that he made this all up for publicity, or it could be that someone did this to him and he wasn't exactly telling the whole truth, but um, he was the main victim. And like most people have said, I hope it's that one. I know it's hard to be in that position. I don't wish it on anyone, but I would rather have him see, see him be the victim of this thing, whatever happened, um, instead of him being the mastermind of it just to get publicity and all that stuff. And I actually read this article that there is another scenario that could be true, which I think is actually probably the most um, compelling argument, is that it could start it off as a hoax thing, and then he found out and kind of made up the death of her just to get it over with, which I, I don't blame him. I mean, it would be embarrassing to come out and say that you've been talking to someone that isn't real or not who you thought it was, especially being the type of person he was and the status he was on Notre Dame campus and in the college football world in general. And 
especially with me kind of relating to him about being in an online relationship pretty much across the country. I mean, mine was from coast to coast. His is from uh, South Bend to California. But still, I mean, I mean, uh, what's another 800 miles? So, I don't know if you guys seen that uh, MTV show Catfish. I know I have because of my relationship with my girlfriend. We watch it each week and it's just <laughs> I don't know what to say with it if you say about it if you've been watching it you know what it's like it's just crazy what people will do and I mean he fell in love with this girl so I mean everyone knows what love is and that feeling is and for the most part when you feel it I mean nothing is gonna change that so it's really it would really suck to find out the that offense, this person you've been loving is not who they say they were or not even I don't know not <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain it not uh, not there they're never gonna be there that that was fake love and you're it's heartbreak it's just like breaking up with someone pretty much I would imagine at least I haven't been through it since my <laughs> girlfriend was actually real we Talked on the phone a lot and Skyped as well. So, I mean, I wasn't uh, nervous at all when I went to first meet her the first time. Um, but, in a way, it's kind of weird that they didn't do that. And it was it has been a year, especially with... Um, obviously, he goes to Notre Dame. So, his family's probably uh, put good morals in his head. Stuff like that. If that makes sense, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm probably just rambling on. Anyway, for his sake, I hope he was the victim, not the perpetrator. I, I don't know if you would call him that. But yeah, that's what I have to say about it. If you have anything to say about it, or catfish, or anything, catfishing, whatever, leave a comment down there, and we can talk about it a little bit. Anyway... This game pretty much goes down to the wire. We again get another fourth uh, quarter victory and win it 17 to 10, uh, barely outgaining the Pirates 236 to 234. Uh, passing, I don't really have individual stats, but passing was 11 for 20 with an interception. And the Pirates 16 for 28 and a touchdown. Rushing the Pirates went 7 for 24 yards. That's barely over 3 yards per carry. And and we did 24 for 102. And one touchdown on that. Oh, they had a fumble as well for rushing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to be getting that national championship game out soon. I promise. So stay tuned for that. And don't get catfished.